What bugs me about Star Wars A New Hope? As a child of the 70s, that's the 1970s for you Zoomers, I saw Star Wars in the movie theater on opening night. My father, no fan of science fiction, stood with me in line through an entire showing of the movie just so we could get in to the next show. It's a memory I will cherish forever. When the Star Wars prequels came out, there were problems for original fans like me. Episodes 1 through 3 didn't fit very well with Episode 4, Star Wars A New Hope. This was odd considering that the Star Wars prequels, we were told, followed the vision of George Lucas precisely. We knew from Lucasfilm themselves, in a complete saga documentary, that Star Wars was edited by people other than George Lucas. But this doesn't address what bugs me going from the original Star Wars back to the prequels. It's this costume. Ben Kenobi was in hiding on Tatooine, in plain sight, wearing the official Jedi Master Council uniform of General Obi-Wan Kenobi the man that Princess Leia said served her father in the Clone Wars. Wait, where was I going with this? I feel the rise of Skywalker. The Force awakens. <clears throat> Moving on. The problem is that in Star Wars, Ben Kenobi wasn't wearing any sort of Jedi uniform. He was wearing the clothing that Tusken Raiders, the Sand People, were wearing. This was probably a selection made by the fact that the Tatooine scenes were filmed in the Tunisian desert. The robes of Arabs were perfected over thousands of years and are designed to be a natural air conditioner to keep cooler air moving around your body as you attempt to thrive in a hostile environment. It is not a fashion statement. Clothing that does not trap your sweat against your skin can be a matter of life and death. In order to not confuse young children, Star Wars The Phantom Menace shows quite explicitly that desert robes are worn all over the galaxy by members of the Jedi Council, the ruling body of the Star Wars Republic. I presume that Coruscant has air conditioning, as do starships. Why is everyone wearing burlap robes? When did this get settled as the official Jedi uniform? Perhaps it's Yoda's fault, wearing robes in a swamp in Dagobah. What am I doing in the swamp? <laughs> Dressed like Fire Tuck. <laughs> but let's stick chronologically with Star Wars. The Tusken Raiders were not Jedi, yet they and Ben Kenobi were dressed the same. The worst example is probably Luke's foster father, Uncle Owen. He wasn't a Jedi by any stretch, yet here he is, dressed like he's ready to take Mace Windu's seat on the Jedi Council. George Lucas has no one to blame for such silly discrepancies but himself. The prequels were his vision, and no one could tell him he was wrong. I just wish someone had the courage to tell him that it was stupid to make this the official uniform of the Jedi Master. And that's what bugs me about Star Wars. When I left, I was but the learn. Now I am the master.